Hi everyone, welcome, welcome to The Greatness Game. Tonight, I'm gonna start off with, I wanna make sure this is going. I'm using a little bit different equipment tonight. So I am going to start off with really grounding ourselves. It always is a long day right now. Um, so I wanna ground us in uh, the greatness mantra. If you watched a couple episodes ago, I told you it's one of my uh, pieces of my self-care. And anytime I get a smallness attack, I always read this greatness mantra and I encourage you to write your own greatness mantra. So here we go. So take a deep breath. <sighs> Hopefully you have some tea or some wine. And here it is. Today I choose to live from my greatness. Today, I honor my boundaries and intuition. Today, I make healthy choices in all realms of my life. Today, I have faith that I can. Today, I love, live, and lead 100% from my greatness, nothing else. Today, I practice saying no to the things that do not serve me, including my smallness. Today, I say yes to the things that do serve me, my vision, and my greatness. Today, I own my greatness and I will only play specific greatness games. Today, I will use my roles and my platforms to share my greatness in the world. Today, I give myself permission to let my greatest self shine in the world and lift others too. Today is the day. So I wanna make sure that this is working because I am using an, a, a new piece of equipment, but I see no chat. Um, so maybe chat here. No, I don't see chat, which I have to see your guys' chat. Um, can you see? Okay, there we go. I just turned it off. There we go. All right, welcome. Welcome everyone. All right, so this is a greatness game and this is all about you. It's your mental toughness, your leadership and your greatness gains. It's a daily check-in, it's a daily dose of inspiration. And for you, just take a deep breath, enjoy some wine or some, you know, hopefully one day someone's gonna uh, show up on this episode and say, I have the most amazing cheesecake. <laughs> That's what I'm craving right now. Um, what are you guys craving right now that you can't get? You know, your favorite restaurant, Houston's my favorite restaurants. Oh my gosh, it's uh, far away. I don't even think they're open, some of those bigger restaurants. So what are you craving right now that your favorite restaurant or um, drinks uh, are closed right now? So I wanna hear what you are craving and you're not getting right now. For me, it's cheesecake. It's homemade, like amazing cheeks, cheesecake. So that's what I'm missing right now. Um, but guess what I got today? <laughs> this is the closest thing to cheesecake. I went and got a donut and some coffee. That is what I got, my little, uh, my little cheat. So, see, oh, I miss sushi. I love sushi. Don't we just want to have a big party? Are you guys waiting to have a big party? I'm so, like, all I want to do after this is just party, just connect um, and, and love on each other. So, all right, tonight is a really awesome topic because you can use this every day, especially right now, because we are in our homes with our families. We are communicating through Zoom with our teams, and it's really, we lose so much of our um, communication through Zoom, through text, through email, because we don't see body language. So this training, I promise you, it is life-changing. I learned this four years ago, then I got certified in it. I train all over the country, teams of 10 to about 150 in this work. But I'm gonna give you just a little bit of the iceberg that is going to change how you react so that you don't react emotionally, you actually respond powerfully, you respond thoughtfully. So it, whether it's with your family or your teens um, or workplace, it is really, uh, ex, um, really important to be communicating in a clean way right now. Not only that, one of the biggest takeaways that I want you guys to get tonight 
is your own color and your own needs. When I learned this work, what I realized is, and I'm not gonna tell you my color, and what's super exciting is we're gonna play a little bit of a game with my board here in just a second. Um, so stay tuned for that. One of the most important things of this training is not just communicating with others, but what you need in communication. So for me, one of the biggest takeaways for me when I learned this is the needs of my color. And when I don't get those needs, what my reaction is. So now I'm, su I'm such a better receiver of communication because I know what my color needs. So it's called True Colors International. Um, it is a personality assessment. It's a, uh, um, an assessment to use inside of communication. So a lot of people do DISC, which I love. I do a lot of DISC work and assessment that way. But when you're in teams of 10, 20, 50, 150, um, communication can get really wonky and, um, and even in our homes with our family. And so, so we've read the book, uh, the five love languages. It's, it's similar, you know, learning someone's love language is life changing. If you have not read that book, Amazon it, Amazon it tonight and read it. It is life changing. The five love languages, but in the workplace, how do you, you know, how do you have tools on your tool belt so that you are working with your team in a really powerful way and you're communicating in a really powerful way. So I do these trainings every single night. Uh, right now, I, you know, I don't know what my end date is, um, but right now I'm doing these at seven o'clock every night and it's my way to connect with my friends, family, clients, and just people around the world. Um, it, you know, connection is really important to me. But also my commitment, my purpose in the world is to share greatness, is to encourage others to live and lead from their greatness because our smallest mindset can really get us in a really dark place and really derail us and derail our life and our dreams and our purpose. So I love helping people do epic stuff in their life. And um, to do that, you really need to live and lead from your greatness. So. I train people um, all day long, teams and individuals, leaders, entrepreneurs, athletes, CEOs. And um, I am just, for me, my, my joy and my fulfillment is helping people become the best version of themselves. So right now, our comfort, you know, all we want is comfort all day long, but comfort doesn't get us to the next step in our life and our next dream. It doesn't move our business. You know, right now, like I say in these episodes, how can we care and um, love ourselves through this and self-care? You guys, self-care is so important. Right now, self-care, having a self-care plan. Um, I think it's episode three. I talk about having a self-care plan, having a daily, weekly, monthly self-care plan. And I have to have it in a chart because it holds me accountable. I can see, did I do that? Did I do that? Um, and in the areas that, you know, I'm not a great water drinker. <laughs> So I saw a pattern. It was really like within the first few weeks of doing this, this is years ago, I saw a pattern. I don't drink my water. And so I could kind of focus in on that and really help myself win in that area. Okay, so tonight, this is about you winning in um, responding versus reacting. And um, communication is really essential. And it doesn't, you know, good communication doesn't just magically happen, as we all know, <laughs> right? It takes effort, it takes thoughtfulness, it takes mindfulness, more so it takes tools. So when you are trained in something, whether it's sales or marketing or a process or a system or communication, you can rely on your tools, your training versus winging it. Could you imagine if uh, fire, you know, fire, um, uh, fighters, they just had no training, they had no tools, and they just they just said, go over there and fight that fire and good luck. That would be a disaster, right? They didn't have the right tools, they didn't have the right training, they didn't have the right communication. That's all crucial. So as business people, even in our families, we have to have the tools to survive, to thrive. And so True Colors um, is four colors. It's orange, gold, blue, and green. And I will walk you through this, but um, 
tell me if you if you are watching this tell me if you have been trained this in this so if you've taken this test or if you're certified in it or if you've done it before i would just put yes in the comments because i want to see who has done it who has not but what i want to empower you and train you equip you in tonight is the four colors and the values and the joys and the needs of the four colors and this is important because if you're green and you're married to a gold there's going to be some fights there right and so when you understand like oh i'm not getting my needs and I, he's not getting his needs and now you understand better the needs of the colors now you can be more mindful of the other color right so that's what we're going to talk about really quickly um so oranges they are all about their values are all about freedom movement variety fun um competition challenge that's your orange like if you're moving a movement or building a business you want an orange out front they are all about leading um winning moving variety the joys of oranges they love leading they love risk and they love competition right and then the needs the real needs of an orange is freedom the number one need for is freedom and then action reward they love rewards right they they win something or they move something they make progress reward okay and variety so think about you this might be your main color it might be your child's main color it might be your boss's main color right so think about who kind of fits that orange and then gold gold values that what they value most is order so your gold is all about rules and structure honesty orderly like they're usually the glue in a company like the rock star office manager or i mean they they really are they usually have like a checklist always in their hand you know they they know the plans they they are holding everybody accountable to the checklist and what needs to be done and the planning and all that so rule structure being useful values they golds highly value being useful um joys where they get joy those goals are planning um serving organizing you know you have a big family reunion and it's being organized it's probably a gold <laughs> they're probably a gold or you know the big gallery uh, uh, uh effort or initiative at work the gold so they're you know they're detail oriented oranges are not oranges are big thinking moving ahead and if you are an orange and you don't have a gold on your team that ha that's managing all the details you are probably in breakdown, all right? So the gold like, are your glue and they hold things together. And then blue, so blue, you are your people, people, people. They're all about compassion. So their values, what they value most is compassion, friends, people, peace, harmony. So lots of nurses are blues, teachers are blue, anything to do with, you know, nurturing, helping, um, uh, belonging, their joy, where they get most joy is acceptance, uh, belonging, friendships, gathering. So if you have a blue in your office, they're gonna want that connection, that belonging. They are gonna wanna be friends, right? They wanna hear what you did on the, uh, on the weekend um there that's your blue and the needs of a blue is acceptance authenticity and belonging so they again they're just about that that love and that nurturing can you guys hear me okay is my volume because a little volume indicator just came up am i good yes hopefully all right um all right there we go. I only know disc. This was going. Yes. Good, good, good. Um, okay, good. Thank you, Evie. All right, green. So greens value most. I am married to a green. 
So when I learned this, I mean, all of a sudden my husband made sense because he is such a great, it's data, it's research, it's knowledge, like everything, I can research something if, in 10 minutes. He needs two hours, he might need two days, right? It's all about data. Um, so their joys are high achievement. A lot of inventors, law enforcement um, are green, inventors are green. Um, they're high achievement, solving problems. And so big world problems are often uh, solved by greens. Uh, they are your, your problem solvers. What greens need, they need clarity, they need data, and they need recognition. They do not like gray, they want clarity. They want not only clarity, they want all the data behind the clarity, right? So you can't just give them an answer, they wanna know why, because they want that, that information. So I'm gonna ask you guys um, four questions. So you're gonna put in the chat, this is the highest, these are the highest frustrations of these four colors. So I'm gonna say the frustration, and in the chat, you're gonna say the color that you think it goes with, okay? So we're gonna do um, lack of control. Lack of control, What? which one of these does lack of control, like it is their biggest frustration? They cannot handle being having a lack of control. Is it orange, gold, blue, or green? What do you guys think? Lack of control. Jeopardy. Which one? Lack of control. Thank you for playing. It is gold, lack of control. Gold want order, they want rules, they want structure, that's all about control. They want control, they want the checklist, they want that order. Highest need, mo values most, is order. So again, if your boss is gold and you are orange, there's some adjusting there for you to do. Right? You're all about movement and just you know moving things down the line. Your gold boss is going to want order and structure. Who these two don't go get along until you learn this and you go, okay, my boss is going to need this report structured in a better structure than I would put it. Right? We have to adjust. How, how, what do, how do I need to communicate to him that's thoughtful in his color, right? So let's get back to this. Lack of connection. Biggest frustration for this, com this um, color. The lack of connection. Which color do you think it is? Do, do, five seconds, four, three, lack of connection. Who do you think it is? Blue, green, gold, or you said gold, uh, orange. Emily, beep, 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 beep. you got it. Lack of connection. Absolutely. So, so how do you think golds are doing right now with this current climate uh, of completely being out of control? It's their biggest frustration. They are going to be disempowered, derailed, having panic attacks, right? The lack of control that's going on right now. Blues are having their own panic, panic attack because the lack of connection, the friendships, the hugs, the gathering, they're having their own panic attack, right? Um, all right, so let's go to the next one. Lack of freedom. Which one, orange or green? Lack of freedom, biggest frustration for this color. When they don't get freedom, they freak out. <laughs> Which one, green or orange? Let's see, five, four, three, two, one. Emily, you're playing along. Absolutely. Orange, lack of freedom. How do you think oranges are doing right now in this situation of not having the freedom to leave, not having the freedom to do anything, right? They're having their panic attack. 
And now our greens, they are, when they can't solve problems, when they can't get answers, they want answers, they want answers, they want answers. Greens are having their own panic attack around their frustration of this being solved. So you have all four <laughs> colors dealing with this crisis and any crisis through their own colors. So maybe you have something going on in your workplace or think about your kids. Maybe you have a blue kid, right? That's not getting that, that um, friend connection right now. They're having a struggle, especially if they're a blue. You know, the, 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 um, the person who is a gold out of work, I mean, that lack of control and order and stability that golds need, they're spinning. So when we can see, you know, a problem, but see it through the other person's color, you can stop and think, respond, not react. Respond thoughtfully, saying, okay, this person is a blue. What, what does she need right now? Blues need, you know, um, the authenticity, the belonging, the acceptance, the compassion, right? Greens, that is not a natural conversation for a green to, to, to relate to a blue in that way. So if you're a green and you have a blue wife or a blue boss and you need to give them what they need right then is some compassion, some belonging, some love, some acceptance, that's speaking kind of that blue language. But for greens, that is not natural. So you have to have that thoughtfulness to respond, you know, just mindfully instead of responding from a green, like where's the data, <laughs> right? Where's that report? So this is so powerful in a workplace and in um, the home. Uh, and also just right now with the communication that we all, all are all having over the internet, FaceTime, Zoom, um, text, email, you lose so much context and you, you, you lose body language that tells you cues, right? So be mindful, you know, these, you can go on True Colors International, there, the assessment, just like DISC, any assessment, um, it's online. You can take it with a full report. I mean, it's a, it'll take you 20 minutes to take the test. It gives you a whole report. It is so powerful to do the report. I just did this um, training for, um, <laughs> Patricia, <laughs> no one is. No one would love this situation. But what, what I was trying to point out is, that everyone's frustrated from their own color. You know, why I'm frustrating, frustrated as a gold is different why my husband's frustrated as a green. So none of us love it. Frustrations are a little different and a little bit unique. But when I, I just did this training for about 30 realtors and, um, you know, this is when you're talking in a business sense and to people, small business owners that are selling, um, you know, when you're selling to an orange versus selling to a green, very different language. You've got to be aware of how you're occurring, you know, for them. So, um, one of my, one of my clients, she sells, uh, custom homes and selling to a husband that is an, an orange and a wife who was green. And so just, you know, thinking, being, they had to think through that and be more thoughtful around how can we address his orange needs? How can we address her green needs? So it's so, it, it just applies on so many different levels, on a personal level, on a business level, on a selling level. And it's all about um, being more aware of other people responding to other people in a thoughtful way. Now, you don't, if you're an orange, you're not becoming a green, you're just thoughtful of them. What does that green need right now, right? Or, or um, you know, uh, as far as selling, like in a house, in this situation, the, the wife was wanting all the um, uh, smart things in the house and very, very data-driven, uh, buying from her filter. The husband wanted to make sure that there was a whole bunch of fun things in the house. The yard was big enough for parties. Um, the garage was big enough for his um, car collection. Like 
he, he was buying the house through a filter of his orangeness and she was buying the house through her greenness. So it was, it just took a little bit of brainstorming, five minutes of just being thoughtful of what those colors need. So I hope this is, um, thought, you know, it makes you be more thoughtful and I hope it's helpful so that you can not respond from the crazy emotions that are going on right now. We need our emotions to be disciplined, right? Have your feelings. Don't be your feelings. Have your feelings. Don't be your feelings. Our feelings can derail us right now if you allow them. Training, you can you can trust your training. I'm saying, wait a minute, da, da, da. I'm not gonna let that emotion derail my mindset and get me totally derailed today. I'm gonna be thoughtful. I'm gonna do, you know, whatever it is for you to get yourself re-centered in that greatness mindset, respond powerfully, right? We do not need more drama. We don't need more emotion. We don't need more heaviness. This is only gonna get harder over the next two weeks. So we want to be thoughtful in our communications and how we respond, how we're living. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, that was literally a 10 minute lesson. Um, I usually, you know, teach it over days to people because it is really to get it in your bones and really understand what are my needs. I'm an orange. So um, now, first of all, I do want to end on this. First and foremost, you are all four colors, right? It's just your highest color. My highest color is orange. Then it's gold. Then it's blue, then green. Um, so we are all four colors. We have all four. It's just that highest, brightest color is kind of how we communicate and, and how we act in life. So it's really important to know what your needs are. Orange is, um, you know, we do right now, the biggest thing for me uh, struggling in all of this is that variety, is that um, movement. You know, I am I am I am going a million miles per hour all the time with all of my events, my business, my nonprofit. Um, and so for me, that is what I'm struggling with, is that orangeness in me. But how I this is one way that I am dealing with it is I still get to move people, work with people. I work with all my clients still, but I had to look at what is my orange need right now, right? So that it's not flaring up and freaking me out, right? It just looks different. We do a drive, we do a walk, like it, the movement just looks different right now. Right now is the key word, right? We have to remember um, it's right now. So I will tell you this, when my baby was little, she was teething. And it was one of those parents, please tell me that I'm not the only one that had this, you know, moment is, um, hold on, let me just look at this, um, is that when my baby, she was teething and crying and it was, it was a rough first three months. And I, I thought I was just going to lose it. I mean, I just didn't. I, I'm thinking, I can't live like this, like crying all the time. And my husband said, it's just a phase. It, she will be over this in just a couple of weeks. We just have to deal with the, like, what's the little trick that she needs right now? And let me tell you, there was this teething little trick that we found that worked and it was amazing. And sure enough, in three weeks, that phase was over. So we have to remember that when we're in challenges, we're in something, whether it's this quarantine or it's something in your family or it's a um, you're sick or financial, it's a moment, it's a phase, you'll get out. And that's such a powerful framing for your mindset because the moment your mindset goes, this is forever, and it just triggers all those hard emotions, that's where we can get so panicked and off track. So um, I wanna read a couple of these um, comments. I just want to make sure. Yes, yeah, slow down. The slow down is good. <laughs> my, my daughter just said today, she goes, this isn't as bad. Like I thought I was going to be really freaking out by now. And, and it's really not all that bad. And uh, let's check in with her in another three weeks. <laughs> so we are trying 
trying to break up our day. Um, even, you know, at night, we actually have a fun thing that we're playing volleyball in the kitchen because we have big vaulted ceilings. And so that just little fun things um, that you're that you can do with your family or a little surprise here, a little, you know, order some homemade cookies, fairy tale brownies or um, uh, Barbara. I don't think she's here tonight. Cakes by Whisk. Uh, they have uh, cookies and cupcakes, you know, order some treat and have it delivered or shipped to you. Those little things feel like Christmas right now to kids. So, um, and especially if it's in their love language, you know, I mean, love language, love language. Yes. True colors, both of those. So you want to be aware of. All right, you guys, remember you, your future needs you, your past doesn't. So this is all about moving you forward into your best self into your greatness, into your dreams, moving yourself a little bit, just a little grace goes a long way. Moving yourself, holding yourself accountable to your greatness, to your dreams. You guys are so amazing. I love being with you every night. Um, every once in a while, I'm like, oh my gosh, I look forward to our seven o'clock dates. So um, here's the homework, and I'll leave this, is I want you to, um, figure out what your color is and think about those needs. You can even rewind this video. It'll be live on my Facebook, um, rem you know, rewind the training and think about what is the color and what are your needs? Because it will be really eye opening around thinking through what do I need in this time? Because when you can satiate that, right? Um, just like my movement, like go uh, oranges need movement. Well, my movement looks different. My movement looks like volleyball in the, in the kitchen, a, a drive down the 202, um, you know, different, even just going through the drive through like that was my outing today of, of um, Dunkin' Donuts. And I don't know how long, it's the only time that I've done that. So, you know, it just looks a little different. Um, green and gold, gonna take the test to confirm. Absolutely. And I'll tell you this is, um, I'm gonna have a special guest on Tuesday night. She is a couples therapist and she is a client of mine. She is extraordinary. She has worked with couples for 10 years. And I just thought that would be so fun to have a little conversation and banter about couples being in the same house right now. Cause I, I have heard it is driving people crazy. So I am gonna have a special guest on Tuesday. We're gonna have a great conversation about couples and how we're dealing with each other and how we can have a little bit more grace with each other. So that is gonna be Tuesday night. Um, your homework for tonight, your challenge, your action step. This is the thing, this conversation is, yes, it's inspirational, it might inspire you for five minutes, but who cares? That's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it so I can forward your life. And so it's all in the action. If you take action, then then, then it moves. So if not your color, how you can honor that color right now um, and ask, ask yourself, what do you need? Okay, so that's the action. Tomorrow, we are going to be talking about deal breakers. And I have an extraordinary, extraordinary story to tell you around deal breakers. Deal breakers in life, deal breakers in dating, deal breakers in business. It is one of my favorite subjects because it's all about boundaries. And it's something that I didn't have um, many years of my life. I had to learn them like most of us. <laughs> so deal breakers are tomorrow night on the greatness game, seven o'clock. Um, post any questions, any comments, any suggestions. Um, I love being with you guys. I hope you have a fabulous night. And I'll see you here tomorrow night, seven o'clock. Have a great night.